right now we're going to the Hmong Art Museum before the Hmong New Year so we gotta go check it out and uh, uh, see how it is Alright, so the uh, museum is the same as the museum and the museum is the same as the museum It's right on the gate right there Alright, let's go check it out So the first thing you see is this right here So yeah, I just want to welcome everybody to the Monk Story Legacy presenting the Vinay Experience. Uh, this is part of our local movement here to work towards building a permanent home for you know, the history of the Hmong people. And so this is the entrance into the exhibit. As you kind of come in, this is our, uh, our founders, our list of founders, the people who uh, donated $1,000 each and then we, you know, they seeded the project and they gave us money to begin the project. And then if you look on this side here, this is what we're gonna do for the next four years. So this year, what you see here is the refugee experience. And it's, uh, you know, it's just to say love, you know, learn to love yourself by understanding who you are, knowing your history. Next year, we're gonna do the Hmong in America. And that's gonna talk about the Hmong in America experience. And then in 2024, then we go back to the secret war and the whole roots and history of all that stuff. And in 2025, we have a, a really, really big international conference and uh, museum exhibit that will be for like one month in, uh, you know, probably Fresno Convention Center. So this is the beginning to our exhibit. And so that, that's where we come in. When you come into this section, this is the, the, the entrance here. This is um, the story of crossing the Mekong River, you know, at night with the Hmong people. So part of this entrance, you, you, you kind of join the journey with the Hmong people and you, you walk through the journey with them and you come into this experience here and you know and then you'll see the animation that talks about that and so this animation is based on the Hmong traditional story cloth because the story cloth is how they told the story through the drawings and the sewing on the pandao and uh, so we used that kind of uh, method of storytelling and then we animated it to create this film that talks about you know, coming across that way. So that's what that film is. When you when you come to this side, then here you are, you arrive at V9, and you know, V9 is uh, fireflies in, at night, you know, and so this is kind of a, kind of entrance into the legendary V9 camp. And then you come into, uh, after crossing into the Mekong, I mean the Vinay refugee camp, then what you come to is you come to the history of what created the Hmong refugees, which is uh, involvement in the secret war. And so uh, this is what was said in, um, in an interview. The ocean is so vast, it takes 24 hours to cross by airplane. Each soldier that died, their bones built the bridge for the Hmong to come to America, you know, and so, um, all of the reasons why the Hmong became refugees are all in the kind of the documents here. You know, they talk about the Geneva Accord, 1954, and a lot of other facts that kind of talk about how the war progressed. So this is Captain B. Yang, and he talks about coming into the camps and how you lose all identity, military rank, anything of value. He talks about that. And this comes into uh, the refugee mural here. And this is 800 people. 800 photos that we uh, did a drive for six months and then we got people to donate it and then we uh, put this together here. So, um, for most Americans would be uh, the end of Vietnam, you know. Uh, but what really happened in, uh, in Southeast Asia in 1975 is that Cambodia, Vietnam and Laos would collapse at the same time almost simultaneously and uh, Thailand becomes the largest refugee crisis in the world, you know, and then uh, it, it allows for the resettlement of Southeast Asians into the United States. You know, for the first time, uh, a large group of non-European refugees was accepted due to the events of unfolding of 1975. Come here and then you'll, 
see display of different communities that are also affected by 1975, the Mian community, the Laotian community, the Vietnamese community, and the Cambodian community, and uh, how they're interwoven into 1975. Play here are uh, newspapers and magazines that talk about the secret war in Laos, so uh, a lot of first-hand copies of originals are there. So This is um, traditional Pantao. So if you come in a little, get a little bit closer, you can kind of see up here, zoom into this area here, and then you'll see that uh, this is the way that the Hmong had always talked about like their exodus, is through storytelling of the story cloth like this. And that's the, it's upon this tradition and this style of artwork that we built the animation at the entrance uh, to kind of tie the two together. But it, they're all founded and based in this art of how the Hmong were storytelling about that time. Um, as you come through here, then you'll get uh, a little history of all the different camps, you know, how they, uh, how they formed, uh, what years they were, and the specific locations as well. It's all kind of based through there. Let's go check out their artifacts. This way. Yeah, so yeah, next door the Hmong uh, Fresno New Year, na. Uh, yeah, come check it out. ตอนนี้ตัวตอลาชัยน่ะเทเลปอเฮเตเปมอง
Nên xin nói bé, ta đúng là ta đúng hồ bé chính cho so tên nó này nè Cho lại cho lò là chỉ thêm cho so tên nó thế nè Bé mong tất tiền nè, cho nên là chỉ chạy mong tiền nè Chất tiền nó mong chạy cơ nè, mong chạy tiền nè ขอนอเคสทอเอเป็นมงตัวตัวเต็มชั่วโมงนะมาขอนอมาขอตุ๊กเช็ดชับเลยนะขอนอฝอยเอเป็นมงเอเนียนใจซีซีนใจเนี่